Do you enjoy games like Lifeless Planet? Or even games like Deliver Us From Mars? If so, I may have another game for you. YouTube, 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 it's your boy Chris Anthony back at it again with another banger for your head top. Now let me introduce you to Lifeless Moon. For all our sakes, I hope you survive. From the same developers of Lifeless Planet, Stage 2 Studios, which I want to give a shout out to because the developers sent me the game and brought us an entirely new adventure, keeping all the feels of the first installment while upgrading the graphics to create a beautiful atmosphere. Speaking of graphics, let's start there. With its stylistic choice, the graphics hit on all cylinders. While it may not be the most graphically beautiful game to look at, it feels familiar yet new within the world that they created. A simple yet beautiful looking moon that you get to explore. Each chapter introducing a new look so what would be a boring moon concept turns into a complex design that within the story makes absolute sense. And for that, I'll give the graphics a 9 out of 10 putifritos. Now, let's move along to the gameplay. Now the gameplay is very simple. It's basically a walking simulator. You explore, solve some puzzles, and as you progress the story, you unlock new features. It enhances the gameplay. For example, this here jetpack. Oh, I got a, yo chat, I got a jetpack, bro. This game just became way more cooler. Outside of that, the gameplay is very linear with a couple of spots for exploration. Most of the puzzles weren't super challenging and once you get the feel of the game, it becomes extremely easy. Outside of the one puzzle that wasn't obvious towards the end, it was all fairly standard. Therefore, I can't go higher than a 6.5 out of 10 putifritos. Now, what you've been waiting for, minimal spoilers, because I want you guys to play the game for yourself. Let's go to the story. Lifeless Moon, you and a fellow astronaut are on the moon when you encounter an anomaly. As you investigate, you are both teleported to another moon entirely, somewhere else in the universe. But you are separated. And for the rest of the game, it's like you're chasing a shadow of your astronaut partner. You find different types of locations that wouldn't make sense being on the moon. But why is there a random town on the moon? Right? That's my question. As if they came from Earth. And as you traverse the lands, you end up finding out this moon isn't actually lifeless. There's beings here who've reached some sort of enlightenment and have actual godlike powers. Ma'am, you're literally floating. What in the world is that? Who the fuck is this? My, myself. What is happening? Unfortunately for this entire moon, one of these beings is corrupt and intends to destroy everything. While you explore and find out more about this moon, you're always reminded that your partner isn't too far off. Which after passing all these tests from the other beings and finally meeting up with your partner, it leads to a final showdown. The beings aid you in completing the task leading to an ending that was beautiful, but felt rushed. So without giving any further detail, I can't give the story any higher than a 7 out of 10 butifritos, which now leads us to the overall score. My overall rating of the game, Lifeless Moon, is a 7 out of 10 putifritos. And now I know it's a smaller game studio, and I personally really enjoyed the game, but 7 out of 10 is the most I can give it. It was a beautiful but short experience, and once again, shout out to Stage 2 Studios for sending me a copy of the game. Lifeless Moon is available on Xbox, PlayStation, and Epic Games if you want to check it out for yourself. Who did this, chat? Who put this in the game? Hmm? Who on the dev team say, yo, let me put this specific sign in the game? And if you like the video, like the video, give that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more indie reviews. Because I'm Chris Anthony, you're indie guy. You know the vibes, baby. Yeah.